I'm a retired doctor and a retired doctor with a balloon. Uh, my friend's a retired chess physician and we're both very keen, should we get the coronavirus, not to end up in hospital. What can we do to prevent it? Well, we decided that perhaps the best thing to do is the kind of physiotherapy that people have after they've had pneumonia, but to do the physiotherapy before. There's good reason for this, because if you do chest physiotherapy before surgery, it reduces the problems people get after surgery by about half. What you need to do uh, with the chest physiotherapy is to blow out very strongly against a resistance. So that's what the balloon is. But that means also to take a deep breath. Blowing a balloon is harder than I thought. About three weeks ago, I managed to blow up a balloon for my two-year-old granddaughter. And when she asked for a second one, I said, I can't, um, uh, that's all I can do. And she said, why? And that was a wake-up call because I think it's like golfers, like Gary Player. The more you practice, the luckier you get. So that's what I've been doing and so is my friend over the last three weeks. And amazingly, we found quite quickly that we were able to blow up balloons much better. Our strength improved within a few days. I see my wife is now using balloons and several of my friends have and we all have noticed the same thing, a dramatic improvement in our breathing within a few days. So there are two aspects to it. There's taking a deep breath and then there's blowing the balloon up. You want to take the biggest, deepest breath you can and then blow every bit of air into the balloon. So here we go. Now, I thought taking a deep breath was just like that, not a bit of it. The experts on breathing turn out to be those deep sea free divers. And you have to start off with your diaphragm, then move up to the chest. And you can even, just by lifting your shoulders, get a little extra air into your lung before breathing it all out. So I'll give that a go. So that's all the air in my lung. So that's the answer. Blow a balloon several times a day, build up your, your chest strength, your breathing, and hopefully, should we end up with the infection, we'll avoid going to hospital. What do you think about that?